do Michael. We got on there. I don't want to do Michael over there. I do my God. So I, say, I keep the good okay. running on anymore. Oh man, what's up? Um, do you like being bad guys? Oh. Oh, where came from? It's like the girl in Poltergeist. She's in the TV. I did the game. The question is, is, did we enjoy being bad guys? Is it fun to play bad guys? And my, my answer is, oh yeah. <laughs> Big time. Double oh yeah. It's, it's fun. Yeah, and, and, and playing a bad guy without remorse is even more fun than playing a normal bad guy. So, so playing a heartless robot. Is <laughs> yeah, well, but, and playing a guy that uh, is trying to do the right thing and eventually becomes bad. You see why he becomes bad. That's when you have a heart. And you're like, oh, I don't, and now I, know, now I understand why he becomes that's kind of cool too. Those are both are cool. Yeah. Like John Malkovich in the line of fire. No remorse. Why'd you ki Why'd you shoot that bird, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good question. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Um, I have a question. Over here. Love you guys. Love you, my boy. <laughs> So you've answered a lot of my questions, so this question goes to Michael. Um, for your role of Slex, did they actually shave your hair or did they put a cap on you? And if so, how... I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll come out of the audience. Well, that's the reason I'm asking There's, there's nothing worse than shaving your head for seven effing years. <laughs> did you wear a bald cap? Seven years of my life. Plopped all over me for hours. That's supposed to have any hair. They would shave my chest in a sex scene that they never aired. <laughs> Some freaking DVD, which was fine with me. I don't want to see myself having sex. Big sex. <laughs> it's a weird morning when you shave your nipples first thing you do. It's just, it's not fun. Dignity. Yeah, always dignity. And the whole thing, I always felt like I had to explain myself like a cute guest star coming out. I'm, I'm cuter with hair. <laughs> Look good for you. Now, uh, thank you. Keep the good. Now, what was, what was the follow? What was the end of that question? Because I cut you up because I got the best off. Because, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a ball cap. It wasn't a ball cap. It was real. It's real. Yeah. This is real, too. Here she comes. The only reason I'm asking is, being a cancer survivor, I was bald. So I didn't know if I was bald. Sitting in the wings over there, my buddy Chris. <laughs> just sitting there, and the lights is going on. They love you, just get a little high. Yeah. My friend Chris. The star of the Chris show, Chris! <laughs> I thought he was like in season one or two. Oh, uh, Sam Jones. Oh, it's over time. I'm kidding. Did you watch season one or two? That's why I wouldn't know. No, I'm giving you shiz as <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I think you both have great comedic time, and I was just wondering, were you ever going to go back to just straight comedy for a project or two? Why not? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is a documentary we're making right now. <laughs> this is all scripted, by the way. <laughs> I would love, yeah, I'm, 
would love to, to go back and do comedy. I mean, uh, that was one of the nice things about doing Buffy was that, you know, one scene would be comedy, one was scene would be melodrama, one scene would be horror, but you really actually got to do a lot of comedy. You are actually funny. <laughs> I'm goofy because he's serious. He's a really good actor, and but then when he gets off, he just when he gets off, he can turn it on and off. It was a long night, James. I told you I don't know if I can do this. I asked, can we do a ten-minute Q and A? Can we have a one-question Q and A?